Welcome to the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro, guys. We're about to enter the favela. I'm gonna meet up with Pedro, my friend that I met the other day over there in the blocos, the crazy block parties of Carnival. I'm gonna get a haircut, he's gonna give me a tattoo, and we'll show you guys what it's like in a favela on the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro. We're about a good 45 minutes outside the city. It's still part of Rio, but it's just, it's way out there. Alejandro's gonna be joining us today. Hi. Hello. Well, this is the, the area over here, guys. So it looks like it was a street barber over here. But I don't think he's operating at the moment. Would have been nice, a street barber. But Pedro, his location is up there somewhere. As we're going to go check out. Bakery over here. What do you think so far? First impressions of the favela. Um, not much. Just another favela. Yeah. I come from Venezuela. It's like I can feel, you know, like um, inside. Yeah, yeah, it feels okay. Until you film the wrong person, and then <laughs> everything breaks loose. Anyways, guys, there's Pedro over there. So we're gonna begin our ascent into the favela that way. Come. Come. Pedro! Todo bem? Todo bem. Alright guys, you guys remember him from El Bloco. A lot of adventures. Hello. He's gonna give me, he's a tattoo artist, so he's gonna make the tattoo. And uh, son todos amigos ahí que cortan cabello. Alright. Buenas tardes. Todo bem? Todo bem. Flamengo. Oh, nice. Se bom, se bom. All right, guys, that's one of the typical haircuts. Maybe I'll get something like that. Who knows? Okay, uh, listo? All right, let's do it, guys. This is barber shop. Cuts all the hair here. Huh? Oil body. So this is the spot here, guys. Come with a bathroom. Television. All right, let's do it. Puxar o negócio primeiro ou cortar primeiro? É. Tanto faz? É bom, cortar aqui é. Vai fazer igual dele, né? Como? Igual esse pelo. Assim? É mais ou menos assim. Tá bem, ok. Alright, so I'm gonna get the hair cutter like he does. Assim, brasileiro. Ou assim também. I've never seen that hair cut, so I would have one like that. Check it out, guys. Rest in peace, Kobe. Eh, uh, qual é o teu nome, amigo? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Mais conhecido como Rodrigo do Porto. Ok. E quantos anos você é cortar cabelo? Uns. Onze. Cinco anos. Cinco. Uh, so he's been cutting hair for five years. His name is Rodrigo. Rodrigo eh, joga futebol a Real Madrid. Tu sabe conhece? Rodrigo? Yes, yeah. Sou fã dele do Vinicius Júnior. É de Santos. Tu equipo é? Flamengo? Não, eu sou tricolor. Flamengo é ele. Flamengo é ele? Flamengo também. How we come along guys, check it out. I paid 20 bucks for a haircut in Copacabana and it was one of the worst I've gotten in a while. I'm not sure how much this one cost, but I'm knowing the results so far. Boom, boom. Now he, he's gonna do my, he's gonna clean my eyebrows and sudden. Limpia? Impossible to see. All right. So he's gonna clean them up guys. Let's check it out. While in Brazil, use protection. Use protection everywhere, actually. But check it out. He's broken this condom body. Kill it. Soy cabezón. I think I have a big head. Oh, that scrap hurts. 
I got the wrong question. I'll give you a kid too. I think they're making fun of you guys. Next size, next size. Alright, he pulled out the magnum. Really has to stretch that out. <laughs> what? I didn't expect this. Alejandro, you see, it's not just girls <laughs> that have to go through a lot of things for beauty. Yeah. Us fellas go through stuff too. Okay. I'm wearing a condom on my head. I like it. So I'm not sure what haircut I'm getting. It's kind of like How much I didn't understand everything. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. Stop him. Yeah. I'll soldier through. I look like Rocky. Hey, yo, Adrian. I look like I took a, a beating on the left eye. I'm getting on there really tight. I think I could probably take 30 minutes of this until all the circulation of blood going to my brain comes to a complete stop. the leak guys so he's sealing it up this is the process I'm not even I can't even tell you what haircut I'm getting or what style I'm not sure if it is gonna be highlights or am I gonna get the Jaguar spots what's up bro you guys remember him from the blog? He's also here. There's the local car wash over here, guys. There's his hustle over here. What's up, brother? Todo bem? Guilherme. Guilherme. Carlos. Carlos. Tamo junto, Carlos. Car wash is beginning to pour down a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't rain too much so we can go all the way up. Is that I vista is muy bonita allá arriba? I hope you can see these views. We're on the beer hunt right now. All right, guys, we found the local liquor stop, so we stocked up on some Brahmas. <laughs> so I thought about doing that, but they said it's gonna burn and it's gonna take a long time. So we're just hanging out, guys. Just having beers, waiting for it to stop raining, and to see the final outcome of my haircut. <laughs> Greetings, aliens. Come talk to me. Check this out, check out this equipment you just added. Para um campão? Alrighty guys, we're going to a, a, a football ground. Take a road trip. I still got the condom on my head. So see where we're going. I think we're going up the favela now. It's muito peligroso aqui. 
Um pouco. Um pouco? Um pouco. Muito bandidos? Quem vive é acostumado. Ok. So it's a little dangerous here, he says, but they're, they're used to it. É, muitos bandidos? Muito. Muita gente armada. All right, a lot of armed people over here, guys. So here, the gangsters, they call them bandidos, bandits. Bandits. We're going up. In English, bandits. Bandido, bandits. Bandits. No, she's running. Out the grounds, guys. Uh, hay jugadores de fútbol profesional de esta favela. Rola o campeonato de favela e a espelada dos amigos mesmo. Todo mundo joga futebol aí. Festival de pipa. Festival de pipa. Profesionales han venido de aqui, de esta. É, por aqui pela área. Sim. Alright, so there's a local team over here, guys, or just for fun. Aqui não passa a polícia? Não, não pode passar a polícia. Não, não vou, não vou filmar, não vou passar right. direto não, vou subir aqui. At this point, police, they don't pass over here. Então, quanto mais alto, mais peligroso. É, é, é basicamente, quanto mais pra dentro. Quanto mais é. indo pra frente, mais perigoso vai ficando, entendeu? Isso aí. We're getting deeper and deeper, higher and higher. Things get more dangerous because this is where the bandits hide out. So it's a lot tougher for the cops to get over here. They're a lot safer here. So I eat no gravel. No. 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 <laughs> Alright, right, cover off guys. <laughs> we'll get shot at. This is the beautiful view of the favela guys. Literally right behind us there's armed guards. So this is one of those bandidos. Me tocou com medo dos bandidos. Literally assault rifles, Call of Duty scope. <laughs> nothing, over, nothing over here, guys. But literally, they're just posted. They're on the block, guns out, like. <laughs> but they're friendly. They're nice. But all this, we get this from the view over here, guys. So, this is the best view of here, de la No, no, there are others. There are others, we're doing a tour. Okay, we're, we're doing the tour, guys. <laughs> Vamos a ver más bandidos? Sí, Con ¿verdad? muchas pistolas? <laughs> Alright, more bandits, guys. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so, normalmente ahí hay bandidos? Yes. Y ahorita no están ahí? Hoy si no tienen que. Aquí hay una boca de fumo. Boca de fumo. <laughs> Alright guys, so normally this is where they'll be posted there, just sitting there with their assault rifles, just patrolling the area. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> so, tú dices, los policías vienen aquí bajo cubierto, yeah. escondidos, y matan a los bandidos. Yes. Right, so that's why they're so alert, guys. They come here with undercover cars. Another viewpoint. We got all the views here, guys. So, the cops come over here. Undercover. But there are bandidos. Yes, there are bandidos. Yes, there can see. You see, they have blockades over there on the road, like barrels, so that it's difficult for cars to get in there. And they basically, they're just always on alert because the cops will come here and just spray up the block. This is for the cops not to be able to pass. There's a barrel there, a hole on the ground with a metal stick coming out, a rock. Oh, she's doing the demonstration. Oh, she's gonna get us to go through. That's what we're doing. All right. All right. So we're in. We're in. I got no. Partial favela tour is on, guys. Time to get this condom off. I'm gonna pass out any minute. There is almost no blood going to my head at the moment. Segunda mão. Segunda. Okay. Alrighty guys, so how can I describe? It's an open market. 
pretty much you have the bandits there there's a table and everything is out in the open anything that somebody will be feeding for was right there they're heavily heavily armed and right next to it was a barber shop then a little fruit vegetable market kids running around everybody had a walkie talkie it's a communication they probably have spies up ahead just informing them oh, this person's coming this person's coming and so on this is what the roadblocks look like guys tires stuff them up with everything they make holes in the middle of the ground just like this and the traffic just goes through mobile truth is coming now It's no white. Ahora vamos a, a lavar. All right, time. We're gonna go wash it off and we'll see the finished product. I still got the rubber on. This is where we're gonna remove the wash. We need your assistance over here. Oh, I feel all, all the blood is just rushing straight to my head now. Yo! I was feeling lightheaded. I was feeling a bit lightheaded. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 I'm rocking. Hey, that's nice. We took, we took board. Woo! Huh? Check it out. So, this is my Fabella haircut, guys. My hair had to be a bit shorter, or later on, when I cut it again, then I'll have the little leopard spots. But this is, this is the setup. So this product is to, is, for what is this, to make it whiter? Matizar, I don't know how to say in English, but matizar. In Spanish, I don't know either. All right, so he's just gonna, it's gonna line up the hair more. Oh, it's turning blue now. Alejandro is adding the finishing touches. Always. What do you think? Right. No. I like it. Different, but. I love the back. I just saw a picture of it. Different. You need to show them the back. Or. Filma por atrás, pabe. I got my leopard spots. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. And you, that's you. Well, let me show you, brother. Rodrigo. De donde estamos? I share. He all right. From over here, guys. Awesome. The favela haircut. This is El Corte de la Favela. Carioca. Carioca. No, it's Cabel. Corte do Jaca. Corte do Corte do Jaca. Okay, Corte do Jaca. I like it, I like it. Entonces, ¿cuánto, amigo? 65. 6.5, guys. So that is like $12 USD. And, and he hooked it up, guys. Uh, way better haircut than I got over there in, in Copacabana. 100, 100%, guys. So we'll go ahead and take care of him. Um, here you go, bro. What's it? Muito bom. Me gusta muito, muito, muito. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> speaks like it. I like it. I like it. Thanks, brother. Have a good day, man. Later, later. It's bonito. You like it? Muita coisa. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I was gonna do the beard, guys, and get the complete look, but it was gonna take too long. Anyways, guys, the total price here to get this whole the haircut, the beard. The coloration was 65. I gave him 200. Top class haircut, guys. I love it. I love it. We're now going for a night ride, guys. Into the favela. They have like their own, not blocos, but their own hood parties over here. We're gonna go check them out. I heard every other person's strapped, so probably won't be able to film any of that, but nonetheless. We'll see what we sing along the way. So it got darker guys, we switched cars. They brought in the stealth machine over here. 
This one has fully tinted windows in the front, the side, all black in order to be able to film better and be seen a little bit less. So avoid any unwanted suspicion. Because the thing is that it's not that they don't care about being filmed, but they don't know who I am. So they might think that I might be the police. And we don't want that. Because that's definitely not the case. So we gotta just stay stealthy. Okay. So he's saying guys, this street that we're on right now, we just got the gas and it looks pretty, pretty commercial, right? Basically, the, the bandits, they come over here, they rob, and then they go right back to the favela. We, but we're hanging out by the barbershop. There was a car that just like skirted past the road, just <laughs> They just go for a quick rob, and they come back flying. They, they grab whatever they can. And it looks like we're going into the, the, the wolf's mouth again, guys. Let's do it. You know, the craziest thing, guys, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to film this one. Because the craziest thing that I've done in my travel that I haven't even been able to film. Crossing borders, crazy things. Okay. 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 Alright, we're now gonna pass by the, the funky streets. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're going to drive around the um, how can I say it? The freelancing female work years. Oh. You know what I mean. So check out this fancy spot over here in the middle of the favela, guys. So we're basically in a new favela that's right next to it. It's, it's all connected, but it has another name over here. And this one doesn't have bandits. It's still a favela, however, and this is pretty much the fanciest restaurant in the areas where people go. And aquí está la piscina y es cinco reales todo el día ahí. Alrighty, so if you want to come over here, guys, this is where the locals come to. Pool access for five reals a dollar. You can stay in the pool all day, favela views everywhere in the day. Drinks. So you can see guys, we're surrounded by brick homes over here, which kind of define the favela on top of the mountainside. What do you think about this over here? It's... I don't know, it's so crazy. Just... <laughs> it's like something so random. Yeah, there's like I this nice know. restaurant with this bar here, this pool, and then in the middle of the favela. So tres, tres favelas por allá. É, a Chatoba de Mesquita, aquelas partes dali é Ar de Ouro e Tatão. Ar de Ouro e Tatão, sendo que Ar de Ouro e Tatão são, eram, antigamente eram umas facções que são eram rivais, sendo que hoje em dia já é tudo a mesma coisa, porque os caras dominou lá aquela parte. Ok. Então, tem mais. Ele está dizendo, guys, há muitas favelas, há uma, duas, duas, eles estão todos meio conectados, mas todas as favelas são diferentes. So, um, qual é a favela mais perigosa do Rio? Complexo do Chapadão, que é a facção que é o Comando Vermelho. Ok. É o CV. E aí, aqui é isso? Sim, sim, sim. Si. Aqui é o lugar que é a favela que é a mais perigosa do Rio de Janeiro. Alright, guys, so this is the most dangerous favela in Rio. It's a complex of favelas that I explained earlier. There's one here, one there. They're all kind of interconnected, but. We're we're in the mouth of the wolf right now. We're in the lion's den, touring all the different favelas. Guys, let's step out of the car, guys. We have horses on the middle of the favela. Check it out. Favela everywhere, guys. Favela. We have some local horses, some steeds just hanging out over here. There's one and there's another one over there. They're not tied to anything. He's just there, hanging out. Next to the train tracks. It's where the metro, the train just flows through. Taking a pit stop, guys. So, 
the girls are back. They're cooking up some food. And we're gonna go to the shop now. This is a shop over here. I'll tell you guys some little story about it. Because it always wasn't here. Beers while getting tatted. Okay. So, aquí trabajas. Vale, vale. Eh, y antes, eh, tú contaste que trabajabas allá y, y te mudaste por los bandidos. So, basically, he was. He had a shop set up in a different area, like just a few blocks up, but that's where the bandits were. Same. So it's just more calm over here for him to, to work and do tattoos as opposed to a couple blocks up, right in front, literally right in front of where the bandits are, like just where they have a little workshop there. A little pissed off for some food guys, Alejandro's hungry. So it's about 9ish right now PM and even though with all the danger, all the things that we've seen today, if you're from here, it's a very very safe place for you. The people all respect each other and basically if there's a problem here, somebody that lives here does wrong to somebody else living here, you go to the bandits and they'll handle it. <laughs> and you don't want the bandits after you. <laughs> How are those fries? Great. They're really good. All right, Charlie, guys, they're really good. So he does everything by hand, guys. So he's catching out. I'm getting a real favela. Right here to go on top of this kind of map kind of fit in I got a line up here so eh cuánto cuánto tiempo tú haces tatuajes? 5 sí. años sí. y dónde aprendiste? Yo tuve on YouTube. <laughs> Guys, you learn how to tattoo in YouTube. You can find everything on YouTube. Un año viendo videos. Un año viendo solo videos. Y juntando grano para comprar las cosas. All right, so for one year he he watched nothing but videos and saved up his money to buy all the equipment. Wow, so tight. So he's going to Rio Favela here. Muito bom, muito bom. Obrigado. Te gusta? Sim, sim. É, so the girls have cooked up a fricassé. É, fricassé. Fricassé, guys. It's frango, which is chicken. It looks like melted cheese. It's a typical plate over here and also with potato chips. É, muito obrigado, muito obrigado. Obrigado. É, muito obrigado por todo. Que tenga buenas noches. Valeu. Hasta luego. Chao. Chao. Gracias. Alrighty guys, back to where we started. It's uh, almost 2 in the morning now. I think we got lucky that this Uber accepted at this time. There's absolutely nobody over here. Uh, buenas noches, amigo. Buenas noches. We can wrap this video up, guys. Hope you liked it. Catch you on the next one.